Color is everywhere, all around us, infused into the products that we're using and consuming every day. Today, conventional dyes and pigments are made primarily from fossil fuels in an extremely carbon-intensive process and requires a lot of toxic chemicals and heavy metals to produce. Our mission as a company is to use biotechnology to create more sustainable sources of dyes and pigments. I was always interested in how the natural world worked. When I was an undergrad, I first became interested in this field of microbial engineering, how bacteria worked, how natural systems worked, how plants worked, and how to really manipulate cells to make novel and interesting compounds. During grad school, the first thing I did in the lab was to look into how plants made indigo and find this critical enzyme that was necessary for the production of indigo, and then engineer microbes to produce this enzyme and make indigo themselves. I met Tammy through my partner, Andrew. He is also a bioengineer, and they were in the same lab together. So we got the chance to kind of form a friendship. My parents were entrepreneurs, and they had their own suite of apparel brands. Growing up, what sticks out the most is traveling to China to textile facilities and seeing firsthand some of the impacts of the fashion industry. Because of some of the things that I had witnessed, I actually never expected to start a company or work in fashion. It was really just sort of having the opportunity to bring Tammy's technology into the world. It was always sort of a part of me that wanted to believe that you could have good business and still create positive impact for the planet. Indigo is such an iconic dye. We really can't make denim with any other blue dye because of the way that the indigo molecule kind of bonds to the fabric. Indigo has traditionally come from an indigo plant where people can grow up the plant and then harvest it to use in dyeing applications. But that was really water intensive and land intensive and very labor intensive. Synthetic indigo is really what's used in almost all of the denim produced today. It uses petroleum as a starting point and a lot of toxic chemicals as intermediates. The process itself is also pretty damaging for worker health. The synthetic indigo industry is notoriously secretive, but we know that to make one kilogram of indigo dye, gallons of petroleum are needed. What we do at Hue is we go into these natural systems and organisms, look into what kinds of enzymes are responsible for making these dye molecules. And then we take those enzymes and engineer our bacteria to also express these enzymes and thus produce these dye compounds as well. We figure out the best conditions to grow them in so that they are producing the dye molecule efficiently. Then we also extract out the dye molecule and turn it into a powder or whatever final form the dye should be in to be a drop-in replacement for the dye industry. I think the fashion industry is hungry for change. Brands are being held responsible by more conscious consumers. Garment recycling and circularity is the future, and a important precursor to that is making sure that we have clean, sustainable ingredients and inputs like dyes that are going into that circular supply chain. The potential of a bio-based solution like this is huge. It is both the kind of workers and the people in the communities for whom this is really going to make a difference. My name is Michelle Zhu, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Hue. My name is Tammy Sue, and I am a co-founder and the CSO of Hue.